Hello there YouTube, uh, welcome to a new video. It has been a while since I uh, actually uh, sounded on a video, or at least talked on a video. Um, today I'm going to uh, run through uh, one of the latest uh, personal paintings that I did. Uh, it's going to be a step-by-step -step video. Uh, I didn't record uh, the painting process because it took a few hours. Um, I did try to make as many layers as I can so I can just clearly show you what I did to come to this uh, result. Uh, I hope you like it. Uh, maybe it's informative. Um, yeah, we're just going to run through how I did everything and uh, the thought process and the idea and stuff. Okay, so first up, this, this, this picture that I made was about a guy trying to trek uh, sort of like a Bigfoot, you know, like a, a giant or whatever. Um, he's hunting him. He already shot him. Uh, the prey ran off and now he's tracking him and he finds some blood and uh, so he knows he's wounded and that's sort of like the story that just like uh, develops while I was uh, sketching and painting it so um, yeah okay so let's let's start off um, I'm going to uh, deselect all the layers so you can clearly see like what I did and when um, yeah okay so there was this really really rough sketch that I did uh, to get an idea going and like what I wanted for the pose and stuff like that and then I refined that sketch because um, you, can't, you can't work with something like that okay so I choose because I knew that was going to be like a snowy wintry scene I uh, choose uh, sort of like a dark uh, green uh, background it's also very desaturated so it's very easy to make uh, contrasty things uh, pop out um, when I have a, a sketch like this, I, I feel like it's enough for me to start painting because I wanted to approach this sort of like as a traditional painting, you know? I wanted to really have uh, minimal planning at the beginning in, in terms of line work and stuff. So I just wanted to see if I could develop it uh, mostly by painting stuff. So, okay, so then this is like the next step that I do. As you can see, it's... Um, it's, it's really loose and it's, there's not much there, but it's enough for me to start having an idea of how I want to uh, have the values of the painting plan out. As you can, during this 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 video, um, I, I try to, or at least during the painting, I try to keep a very close eye on, to, on the small navigator screen so I know like what I'm doing composition-wise and if, the, if the, the light is helping with the composition to make it flow better. Um, also a great tip I think uh, when you're when you're doing this and when you're painting or drawing whatever uh, try to do a lot of uh, horizontal flipping and then sometimes even vertical flipping if that helps you I don't know but it's 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 a great way of like spotting your mistakes or spotting things that just it, it refreshes the image for your mind to look at so you uh, it's, it's easier for you to to see if you're if your drawing skewed or if something's happening wrong uh, with the pose or proportions and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that did, that happened a lot during during this painting. Um, I'm not gonna do that during, <laughs> during the the step by step process because it's just uh, annoying. But just remember that that is something that I do a lot during painting. Okay, so. I have this underpainting and I start to uh, block in some colors so I have a better idea and I think when I had this going when I, I started to get some initial colors and then values more in the character and something in the background and I started to really have an idea of like what it was going to be and then I just turned off the line work and you can already see that it's starting I think it starts to look more like a painting right so I wanted it to, to try to look as traditional as possible. So um, I, I got rid of the line work very early, as, as you would sometimes in a traditional painting where you just start painting over the line work because like, you can't just click it off like you can here. So I started to refine some, some, some more of the character. As you can see, I work with the darks in the, in the, in the already shadowy parts uh, so to, to more to like sculpt it out. Uh, same here, some more detailing, and then I started, as you can see, I started here 
to uh, to get the shape better. You know, the the, the composition it didn't really went as well, uh, went as good, and went didn't flow as good as I wanted it to to go. As you can see in the smaller navigator screen, you can see that it really helps uh, to cut out the character out of the composition and to cut the shadow and have more focus on that on that foot. You know, especially later on. So. Uh, some more details. It is, I don't even know why I have this on a separate layer, but I had the idea while I was painting this that I was going to make as many layers as I could because I wanted to break it down uh, into smaller steps for you know for some people to maybe see this and, and learn from it. So uh, I did a little bit of color balancing because I thought it was getting a bit too uh, too cold. I guess I wanted to have a more warmer uh, tone, in, especially in the character. And later on, you will see that it is still very uh, a cold scene. So I bring that back. Uh, here's some uh, some small detailing, uh, trying to get more of a focus, uh, focus like points of interest on the on the painting. Especially here with the X, you know, when you like the sh the edges are already there, but when you start refining it more, it creates more of a it creates more of a, a focus point for the, the eye to rest on when it enters the composition you know you want it to go like, like you want to see here and you want you want the you want the viewer to check some stuff out around here and then he points to this and then he points to the other footsteps in the background so you have a nice flow of the composition um yeah, here's some more detailing. I guess it's just a matter of rendering stuff. Um, like one one of the things that I ran into uh, was the X because I kind of liked ha him having him or liked him having an X on his back, but I had no idea how I was going to attach it to his back. So I was like trying to find out how I can do that. Um, eventually, I think I came up with. Uh, with a strap and a, and a thing like this, it's not super convenient. I should, probably should have thought more about it or maybe looked up some reference to see how, how you do that. But uh, yeah, I found that this worked well. It's, it worked well enough for me to, to just go like, ah, oh, it's fine. Okay, so now I was here and then I started to level up or I started to adjust the levels. And you can see it's a massive difference, right? It's There's a lot of light, but when I start painting from the beginning when they're still like um not so uh yeah, how do you say that it's, it's still like the values are still very close to one another in my mind it already sort of looks like this but i only realize it that the difference between the levels is so low as soon as i adjust the level as, as soon as i adjust it you know as you can see i really brought in white and you know, like if you change this it just gives more white or more light etc and when it was like this it was uh zero it's it's very flat you know uh in my mind it already sort of looks like this but i don't realize it until i see it just like a lot of other things in, in life you know you don't <laughs> you only realize when it's gone but i only realized that it is that close to one another uh and then so flat when I start adjusting the layer or adjusting the levels, so I added some more details here, and I added some uh, some more cloth. Like the idea with the red uh, cloth was that if you would go out hunting or whatever in a very uh, snowy, icy, uh, you yeah, well sort of like desaturated environment, I thought it was a good idea to have something very bright and saturated hanging on a hunter so other people can also see him you know uh, for me that's sort of like what i thought it was cool uh, but i didn't like the shape of it just hanging down like that it was i felt it was, didn't work so i added some more uh, of a shape like this so it's oh hang on i think i clicked something wrong yeah so i added more of a shape like this so it uh it flows better with the composition um here i added an overlay layer with some darker colors 
uh, I painted some some textures with a very textury brush. Uh, as you can see, like I adjusted uh, the spacing between the brush, so it, it gives more of a weird sort of like traditional look. I, I kind of like that, so that was cool. Um, just a bit more rendering and refinement of certain places here. Uh, here I added the blood because the the blood the red. Uh, towel thingy was also like a counterweight towards the red blot uh, so that wouldn't stand out too much um, a little bit of adjustment to the to the, to the footsteps and some atmosphere to balance out a bit of the darks and the and the lights uh, here's some snow some wind you can see so it starts getting cold already you can already start like a just start hearing it in your, in your, in your, <laughs> in your head. Yeah, uh, you you can't believe like the foot the, <laughs> in the sounds I make sometimes when I'm painting. So, uh, here's some more little lights, highlights, um, texturing or at least detailing of the of the of the belts. You know, it's doesn't really matter so much, I think. Um, Especially when you're looking at it from fairly far away, like, yes, you know, it's the difference is barely there. Like, okay, whatever. But if you would print this on a fairly large scale, then you would see the nice details up close, and I think that's cool. So here I tried to put something on the X as well, but I figured it was just too much with the uh, with the straps and stuff like that. I was like, nah, that's, that's not good. Just keep it clean and simple, just like the character is. It's just a very simple dude. So didn't go with that added another uh, overlay layer just to paint in some some more darks here like a shadow and some highlights on the X and a little bit of like darken the knee a little bit to balance out with the uh, darker shadow up there and then I think I'm done because I added my signature and I added some blood to his hand otherwise he's just like uh, just pointing at it or something it's kind of weird so it was more like he wanted to see, like, a feel or see that it was actually the new blot or whatever. Then I uh, painted a bit of the elbow, double-checked. And I don't even know why I did this, but I think I was just very insecure, like, this this doesn't feel right or something. I'm doing something wrong. But uh, I'm not entirely happy with how the anatomy of the dude uh, ended up. So probably should have spent a bit more time on the painting. Well, on the, on the sketch, finding out like how it actually is situated with the legs and the, and the pelvis, etc. So I uh, I thought it was a bit chubby, sort of. Uh, so I raised a bit of a shoulder, put a bit more there, um, and some 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 refinement with the, with the snow and the footsteps. And then we are done. I think this is the end of the painting. Um, if you have any questions or comments or requests or whatever, just uh, shout out below, leave it in the comments. Don't forget to uh, press the like button and the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet. Um, so thank you for watching. Uh, see you again soon. Uh, yeah, have a great weekend, guys. Bye.